A very special day today. It's the opening of the On3 headquarters here in Nashville, Tennessee. It's also the day that George McIntyre committed to Tennessee. So, George, coming off that big decision, how are you feeling right now? Just just about an hour ago. Feeling good. Feeling like a ball. Yeah? What, what, what went into your decision? Like, when did you know it was going to be Tennessee? Yeah, I've known for the last couple of months. Um, I've been trying to commit for a little bit now. We had the snow week. Just, you know, finally getting it over with and, you know, knowing that I'm officially a volunteer just feels good. But you said it was your dream to play for Tennessee. So you yeah. knew well before this offer came. Like, when did you know? As a kid, did you know that you wanted to play for Tennessee? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say say that I, I knew I was going to play for Tennessee when I was a kid. But, you know, I, I've always been around the state and, you know, I've known the buzz of what it means for mm -hmm. an in-state kid to play at Tennessee. And, you know, just very grateful to be in this position. All right, let's talk relationships. You and Josh Heupel obviously have a great relationship, but tell Tennessee fans what he's like. What kind of what kind of personality does he have? You know, I like Coach Heupel. You can just you can just sit down and talk to him. He's a very personable guy. You know, obviously he's a quarterback guru. He he was a quarterback himself, and uh, you know that those are the things that really attracted me to to him in Tennessee. What about the rest of the coaching staff? Who are some some of the coaches that you really uh, got to know? Yeah, their coaching staff is definitely a family. Um, you know. In the quarterback room, Mackenzie Milton from uh, UCF and Florida sure. State's in there, and then uh, Mitch Militello is also in there. Uh, you know, the quarterback room, I think they got a really good quarterback staff, and then around there they got a, a great staff all around for sure. Now, your family has a deep tradition within the Tennessee Volunteers. What does it feel like to be a third-generation Tennessee Volunteer? Yeah, it feels great. Uh, you know, I think – my mom's side of the family is a pretty big family, and they made these shirts today I didn't even know, but there's been uh, 43, 43 graduates of uh, Tennessee from her side of the family since, like, the 1920s or something like that. So it's it very cool. Did they let you know this before you committed? Like, was there pressure uh -oh. on you, or did well, you I just mean, kind of find this out throughout the uh, recruitment? Yeah, like, family reunions and stuff, I kind of realized that everyone there mostly went to Tennessee if they went to college. So, uh, um, yeah, I, I mean, they surprised me with the shirt today. Uh, it's, I, I think we'll probably post it later, but cool. it's, it's cool. Uh, what was the reaction from your family when you told them that uh, it was going to be Tennessee? Uh, they were super excited. You know, my, I told my immediate family like uh, a week or two ago, maybe two weeks ago. I told my grandma like a month and a half ago, right before she went into open heart surgery. And so, uh, that, you know, that means a lot. And then uh, the family that the extended family that came in today, was, they were very happy for sure. Cool. Yeah, I bet they are staying close to home, staying in the state. Um, when it comes to making that decision, ultimately, what did it come down to? What were the factors that meant the most to you? Um, I think, you know, being an in-state kid is a big pull, um, you know, but like kind of football-wise, I know I'll be running the same offense. Coach Heupel, it's his offense. You know, he's an offensive-minded coach. He's a quarterback-minded coach, and, you know, you can't say that for all the other ones. <laughs> How much did NIL factor into this decision? Uh, not much at all. I think it's great that, you know, college athletes can make money now. And I just kind of see that as a cherry on top, but I definitely did not commit for money. All right. So now you're committed. Why Why did you decide now is the right time? I mean, the, the, really the 2025 cycle hasn't even started yet because mm -hmm. 2024 signing day is February 7th. So why now? Uh, just Tennessee, just, yeah, and it's always felt like home. I just wanted to make it official. I know uh, I'm actually one of the last quarterbacks to commit. Um, <laughs> A lot of guys took, you know, some of the early, early offers. Why did the quarterbacks come off the board so early? I just think they really wanted to secure their spot. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know. And also help recruit. So yeah, exactly. it, how, how aware are you of Tennessee's targets and some of the guys that they want to recruit into this class? How aware of that are you? Oh, for sure. I stay locked in with, with all the assistants <laughs> yeah, now. Me and Coach Pope, uh, Coach LRB. Um, you know, we're going to go after some big national guys like uh, David Sanders, Jamie French. Marcus Harris, those are three really big ones. And You're just dropping five-star yeah, names over here. Uh, got to. And then uh, a lot of in-state talent as well. There's mm -hmm. probably, you know, six or seven guys, maybe more than that, that Tennessee would love to have. I was, I was going to go next weekend, uh, but, uh, you know, anytime they got big guys big guys in there, I'll, I'll be there. You'll be a regular? Yes, sir. All right. Um, all right, so now this offseason, you know, we're going to hit it here soon. We're going to get into the meat of it. What are you working on in terms of your game? What are you trying to improve this offseason? Um, really prioritizing like weightlifting and you know eating. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I prioritize eating a lot too. Yeah, uh, basketball season right now it's kind of tough, but I'm still mm -hmm. trying to get one or two extra lifts in per week along with basketball lifts. Um, you know, basketball can be tough on your legs and stuff, but really trying to get upper body stuff for yeah. sure, and then really attack the weight room probably six times a week as soon as basketball ends. So, what's your height and weight right now? Uh, six five or six six, whichever one you want. We'll go six six. I'm like around one ninety. All right. 
Yeah. So you want to be maybe 200 by the time you step on campus yeah. in Knoxville? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, and talk about when do you get to Knoxville? Do you plan on being an early enrollee at Tennessee? Um, there's some stuff we got to work out before we can announce that. It's in the yeah. works. Yeah. You're going to work towards that? Yes. Exactly. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Well, George, um, do you have a message right now for Tennessee fans that, you know, just watched you commit to the volunteers and are – Pretty excited for you to come on board. Yeah, I'm excited to give my all for Tennessee every day uh, once I step on campus and uh, go balls, baby. All right, well, I'll come out and see you in spring. But if I okay. don't see you in spring, we will see you at the NIL Elite Series yep. at the end of May. You yep. were one of the first. You I, Actually, I think you were the very first yep. invite for the 2025 class. So appreciate that. Appreciate you coming by, and congratulations. Yes, sir. I'm excited to be there. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.